Check out the link in the description down below to download the app or buy the book. Peppa Pig. Peppa goes to America. Peppa and George were watching their favorite superhero, Super Potato, on television. When a trip to America to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space, announced Super Potato. Just find my golden ticket to join me and my co-star, Hash Brown, here in Hollywood. Ooh, gasped Peppa. Peppa ran into the kitchen where Mummy and Daddy were making dinner. Mummy, said Peppa, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? There are only one ticket in the whole world, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. We'd have to be very lucky to find it. Just then, Mummy Pig said, Oh, there's something in the potato. It's the golden ticket, gasped Peppa and Daddy Pig. We're going to America, cried Mummy Pig. A few days later, they were on the plane. This is your captain speaking, announced the pilot, Mrs. Rabbit. We soon will be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? Is that it? Asked Peppa, peering through the window. Peppa was right. It was America. Outside the airport, a bright yellow taxi arrived to collect them. The driver looked very familiar. Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit? gasped Peppa. We have a Miss Rabbit at home. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit, said the taxi driver. Hop in. Is this Hollywood? asked Mummy Pig. No, said Miss Rabbit. This is New York. The city that never sleeps. I'll give you a tour. New York was very busy and very big. Miss Rabbit got Peppa and George ice creams. Then took everyone to the first stop on her New York tour, the Empire State Building. When they reached the top, Daddy Pig closed his eyes. I can't look, he said. But there's so much to see, Daddy, cried Peppa. Miss Rabbit popped on her tour guide cap with this telescope. You can see the Statue of Liberty, she said. Peppa looked through the telescope and across New York Harbor I can see a big green lady with an ice cream, she cried, holding her own ice cream cone in the air. Look at me! I'm the Statue of Liberty! Hee <laughs> hee! The next stop was the Times Square. Look! called Peppa, pointing at the super potato billboard. That's the film we're going to be in! You need to go to Hollywood, said Miss Rabbit. I have just the thing for you to get there. A motor home, said Miss Rabbit. She threw Daddy Pig the keys and Peppa's family climbed aboard. It has been a very busy day in New York. Peppa and her family needed a good night's rest in the motor home before the journey to Hollywood. For a city that never sleeps? It's made me very sleepy, said Daddy Pig. The next day, Peppa and her family got straight on the road to Hollywood. Are we there yet, Daddy Pig? asked Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig looked at the map. Um, let's ask someone, he replied, turning red. They pulled up outside a nearby diner where someone looking familiar was strumming a guitar. Howdy, folks, 
Ah, Miss Rabbit! It's another Miss Rabbit! Peppa cried. Yep, there are lots of us around, replied Miss Rabbit. Now, what can I do for you? Do you need gas or a bite to eat? Are we in Hollywood? Asked Mummy Pig. No, ma'am. You're a long way from Hollywood, said Miss Rabbit. But as you're here, why don't you come get some home cooking in your bellies? Well, I suppose we could stop for some breakfast, said Daddy Pig. After a delicious breakfast of eggs, Miss Rabbit took Peppa's family country dancing and monster trucking. Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa cheered. But there was no time to waste. If they were going to make it to the film set, Peppa and the family had to say goodbye. Hash Brown is my favorite actor, said Miss Rabbit. Tell him howdy from me. Daddy Pig drove for miles and miles until. Stop! yelled Mr. Bidson. Cannon ahead! And if you want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Peppa and the family met another Miss Rabbit at the information desk. She gave them a tour of the Grand Canyon in her helicopter. Wow! cried Peppa. Amazing, isn't it? said Miss Rabbit. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur! Grrr! shouted George. Miss Rabbit's tour continued with a ride down some rapids. And a visit to the Grand Canyon Caverns, where she showed some animal pictures drawn a long time ago. Ooh! cried George. Daddy Pig drove out of the desert. Are we nearly there yet? asked Peppa. I don't know, said Daddy Pig. Let's stop and look at the map. Sir, did you know you must only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? said the police rabbit. It's another Miss Rabbit, said Peppa. Miss Rabbit, it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in a Super Potatoes new film, Vegetables in Space, added Mummy Pig. In that case, Head straight on until you see the Hollywood sign. If you don't see the sign, look out for the stars, said Miss Rabbit. George spotted them first. Star, star, he shouted. Then Peppa spotted two real life stars. It's Super Potato and Hash Brown, she cried. We won your competition to be in your film, Vegetables in Space, said Peppa. Then let's go to the studio, cried Super Potato. We've got a film to make. On the film set, Peppa and the family were dressed up as broccoli. Then the filming began. Lights, camera, action! Hundreds of space carrots zoomed towards Super Potato and Hash Brown's spaceship. Oh no! shouted Super Potato. These naughty carrots will destroy the universe! If only there was some way of getting rid of them! cried Hash Brown. We could eat them! said Peppa. But they look like there are too many. Just then, some unexpected visitors arrived at the studios. Hello, said several familiar voices. We couldn't meet Missing Hash Browns if it was Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit, 
Rabbits, Miss Rabbits, Miss Rabbits, and Miss Rabbits. We have to eat the carrots," explained Peppa. The Miss Rabbits were very happy to help. They loved carrots even more than they loved hash brown. We did it! cried Super Potato. Hooray! Everyone cheered. The universe was saved thanks to Peppa and all the Miss Rabbits. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? asked one Miss Rabbit. Yes, said Peppa. The best bit was everything. Peppa loves America. Everyone loves America.